Yo, what's going on guys? Quick still up here and welcome back to another Airsoft video. Today I'm doing a video on my new upgraded Supreme machine. I finally got it upgraded. And before the video starts, I just want to make things clear. Yes, I did get a new camera. It's a Canon EOS Rebel T3i. That's out of the way. Let's get into the video. So this gun I recently sent to Hooligan so he could do upgrades on it for me. Um, he completely redid the gearbox. Everything in here is new motor, everything on the inside, gears, piston, everything, barrel, hop up, everything is brand new and it shoots freaking laser beams and it's awesome. So externally, um, you guys know what the gun, what it, you know what the, this gun is. I have an old, old video of me doing a review of this, but I'm just going to kind of go one over and just, you know, redo that video. So it's a full metal key mod rail, 12 inch I think, um, it's got on the front 14mm counterclockwise threads which I put a cookie cutter flash hider um, got my brain exploder zoom cam mount um, got mag pull up here that I put um, and then it comes like this, it comes red and black so to get that out of the way obviously it does not come stock with a Crytac trigger or a Crytac stock or a mag pull foregrip or um, pistol grip sorry um, yes I do have a Crytac trigger there, I have a mag pull PTS pistol grip and a Crytac stock just because it looks a little bit better and the g, &G stock is really annoying. Um, I have a T1 up here and a sight protector which you can flip up or down if you want. Um, anything else on this gun? Metal buffer tube, um, polymer upper and lower receiver. It's really light. It's I'd say about four, three to four pounds. It's pretty light so I like it a lot for speed softing even though I'm not really a speed softer. Um, then getting into internals, let me look them up on my phone because I have them all written down. Okay. So for the barrel and hop up, we have a 6.03 millimeter type bore barrel with a Lodex hop up. Don't know the bucking, but it doesn't really matter. An APS, um, APS aluminum air nozzle, SHS aluminum cylinder head, SHS aluminum cylinder. A Lonex full metal rack piston, um, M120 spring and ball bearing spring guide, KWA high, high torque motor, Black Knight 13 1 gears, and an XYT bevel gear. And I think that's it. So the internals of this thing are pretty monstrous. Uh, it shoots 20 RPS with a 11 1 LiPo. Um, I plan on getting an upgrade to a different motor so it'll shoot 40 RPS, um, which I'll get that sometime. I don't know when. But for now, this thing shoots awesome, shoots really far, it's shooting good. It's 350 FPS with a .25 BB. Um, I'm going to put a battery in here right now. Um, this is definitely up there with like some of my um, most expensive guns. This one is worth about $400 right now with all the parts in here. Um, and also, I wanted to show you guys what I had to do. So right here, there used to be a fuse. The fuse is not there anymore. Let me get a little bit closer. The fuse isn't there anymore because, here let me zoom, because the wires broke off and I had to resolder it and it wasn't, I wasn't able to resolder it basically and my dad had these little things laying around and um, connected the wires together and it worked perfectly now still have this big old MOSFET on here which is really really stupid but I'll get over it um, I plan on getting a full stock for this thing like a stubby M16 stock so that should be cool eventually when I get that um, I don't know how it's gonna work if it will work but if it does that would be awesome so I'm just gonna do trigger response and rate of fire with an 11 lipo which is partially charged not fully charged semi-auto Full auto. And now three on burst. Alright, so that is the red fire and trigger response and three on burst with the level of lipo with the new internals in here. I think it's awesome. I'm really happy with how it came out. A uh, big thanks to Hooligan. I'll leave a link in the description to his channel and the video where he shows um, what he did and talks about how bad the internals are. 
uh, or were. Um, the internals in here are not bad. Now these are insanely good internals. So this is definitely one of my prized possessions right now. This gun, along with the scar, which I am sending to him to do a little bit of a tune-up. Um, he's going to reshim it and he's going to put a new nozzle in it for me. And then right here, my Warlord and my Lancer Gen 2. These are both really, really awesome guns. Um, this is the lower budget one, and this is the Warlord right there, which is awesome. Um, so yeah, this gun is awesome. I really, really love it a lot. Um, I, as you guys can see, I don't have a uh, a bolt. I just have the dust cover, which um, I don't like having to pull back doing all this. It's really awkward, so I just leave it, take it out, so it's just easier to adjust. Um, so yeah, that is the new and improved Supreme Machine. Definitely looks good on the outside and even better on the inside. Hope you guys have enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like, comment down below, and hit that subscribe button if you are new. Make sure you hit that bell for the notifications so you can be part of the notification squad. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.